Hey guys, it's Subsa Kid here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a new After Effects tutorial. And what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to color correct, like images and moving images, using color curves. Um, color curves is probably the most powerful color correction tool there is, but it's kind of confusing at first as well because you've got to know how the curve works to get the best color corrections you can make because uh, like when you're just like first using curves you're just like squiggly line and it's just like making different colors and stuff and like oh that looks cool but you don't actually know how you did it and you probably would want to so just get your clip or image which you want to color correct and just go to effect color correction color correction curves just t or you can just type it in here and drag it on whatever you prefer and I'm just going to quickly explain how this line works and I'll teach you about these different parameters here as well um, so basically the line say there's this type of well this line down going down the middle is a kind of wall so this side of the line so here controls the brighter parts so whatever adjustments you do here like say like drag it up or drag it down it would only affect the brighter parts but this side of the line here would affect the darker parts so if you drag it up and down it would affect like the dark parts like the shadows and stuff um, so when you drag the line up it adds to the uh, part you're like adjusting so say because we're on the RGB parameter is going to adjust the contrast so say if we're on so we're on the lighter section here and click like hold down here and if we drag it up it makes the brighter parts brighter but say if we drag it down it makes the brighter parts darker and same with the dark part so this is the dark part and we're on the RGB so it's going to adjust the contrast so if we drag it up it makes the darker parts brighter we drag it down it makes the dark parts darker so say like as you can see it's kind of weird so well, not weird it's just really plain so we could adjust we could add some contrast by dragging the brighter part a bit higher so the brighter parts are brighter and getting the darker part and just bringing it down a bit so you see there's some contrast so now it looks a bit more solid I don't have to explain it so as you can see that's that and with this you could just adjust the contrast so maybe you want the whole thing to be really bright so you could just add some brightness there and really like brightness there and stuff so all really bright or all really dark like that and stuff or just you can just do the one point in the middle like that so you can just adjust it but I prefer just to do some contrast by just doing that but not too much like that which makes it look kinda weird so that's the RGB parameter and say if you want to like so you go into the red parameter with the line it's the same basis this controls the brighter parts the bottom part of the line controls the darker parts so if you click here so anywhere on the top half which controls the brighter and drag it up it will add red to the brighter parts if you drag it down it will take away the red from the brighter parts and if like so now you're on the darker part of the line and if you drag it down it takes away the red from the darker parts if you drag it up it adds red to the darker parts so like the shadows so oops so say if you have like something like this and you want to make the sky a bit reddish so because the sky is a bit brighter than the rest so it's going to come under the brighter part so drag that oops, drag that up a bit like that and say so you could just drag this down and drag that up and as you can see the sky becomes a bit red so that's quite cool um, you can just play around with it and maybe you want it like the other way around so you want all the shadows and dark parts to be red like that and say so you don't want the sky to be red you want it to be a bluey type color like that so you can just adjust it like that um, so yeah it's the same like the RGB part except this time it's adding red 
or de or taking away the red from the brighter or darker parts and now if you go into the green it's exactly the same as the red if you so this is the brighter part if you drag it up it will increase the green in the brighter parts take it down it will take away the green from the brighter parts and same with this part of the line so go there it will increase the green in the dark parts take it down it will decrease the green in the brighter parts and you can just muck around with that and then same with the blue again increase in the bright brighter parts decrease in the brighter parts and same with the dark parts as well there and say when you like say if you want an orangey type color like you want it to be a nice orange type color it, you have to know your color mixing so say well let's just take we want this to be purple purpley because when you mix red and blue it makes purple so we're gonna have to get rid of some of the green so if we just take out the green just a bit not too much take out the green and just add a tiny bit more red like that and maybe just add a bit of blue like that I'm not actually going for anything I'm just showing you that you can make it all purple like say if you just add some like I'd that up so if you just add loads of blue it's a more bluey purple and say if you just make the red a bit bigger and the blue a bit lower like that it's a more ready purple so you got to know your color mixing so say um, if you want a let me think say if you want an orangey color orange is kinda weird to get say because you need to mix red and yellow to get red no, red and yellow to get orange so what you would have to do is on the blue take out blue from the brighter and the darker until you get a yellowish type color so you can see that's a greeny yellowish type color then go to the red and just add some in as you can see it's made it orange so you once you just get used to mixing colors and how colors mix and stuff well that's more of a browny color so I don't know so maybe in the green you could just Um, add a bit more green like that and in the red just increase it a bit Oop. like that and you can just muck around with it you just once you get used to color mixing and stuff it's really simple and you can just make some really amazing color corrections um, and then it's just about the theme of your montage or OCE what you're making so say on this outpost map like on Modern Warfare 3 so we just go effect color correction and then curves you would want it a nice bluey type color so let's quickly see here um, we might want to get rid of some of the red so a bit like that and a bit like that but on the RGB you go might want to increase the contrast so increase the brighter parts and like make the brighter parts brighter and the dark 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 parts darker so see it's nice and looks quite good um, on the blue you could maybe just increase it there and maybe or maybe say you only want the d the shadows a bit darker so we can just make the shadow like increase the dark parts increase the blue and the dark parts and just take out some in the brighter parts like that or and go in the red and just so you can see it's just all about color mixing really and where you want the certain color to be so that's about it alpha went with alpha I don't really know what alpha does to be honest it doesn't really seem to make a difference for me so if you find out what that does just message me or comment in the comment in the comment section below or something I don't really know what that does so that's basic color correcting with curves once you get used to it you'll be color correcting like a boss or something I don't know so thanks for watching guys uh, drop a like comment and subscribe it always helps um, oh yeah and this is my new computer I finally got my PC now because my laptop couldn't handle 
everything so I've got a nice big PC now so I'll make a set of video soon so thanks for watching guys uh, bye